I'm Marv Seppla. I'm the Chief Medical Officer for the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation. Uh, we really set the stage for the treatment of addiction back in 1949 and established the current model used worldwide, basically. We continually improve our programming by using the current literature, by using our own research and any new research about addiction, and that's one of the real exciting things about working here. Uh, I get to wake up every day and try and figure out how we can improve the outcomes of the people that come to us for the help. By doing so, we've been able to institute a whole new program for opioid use disorders. We've now got a feedback-informed treatment program in our new electronic health record that uses information directly from the patient. They fill this out in their patient portal, and on a weekly basis, we get information objectively about how they're doing and where they're going in treatment. And we'll be able to communicate that information back to the patient, to their family, to the insurers, the payers, to anyone else involved in their care and we'll be able to do all kinds of research about outcomes based on these predictors. So predictive modeling will become the norm in our system, something that we all want in the addiction field.